Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here from For The Core. Today I'm going to talk to you about where do Marines live after boot camp? Now I get asked this question quite often, but before I dive into it, I'd first off like to say, if you like this video, or any other videos for that matter, smash that like button guys, subscribe to my channel, and if you got comments, questions, or concerns, drop them down below. I started this channel for you guys to answer your questions, share my opinions, share my experiences, in hopes that you can learn something from them and you can have some of your questions answered before you join the Marine Corps. All right, it's a scary process, but I hope to shed some light and give you guys a different perspective on this. So again, I thank you for watching. I thank you for the support and let's dive right into it. So where do Marines live after boot camp? In boot camp, we'll start with that. You're either gonna be tending MCRD San Diego or MCRD Paris Island. Now, those are the only two locations where Marines are made and it just depends on where you're shipping on. All right, boot camp's not easy. It's one of those things, every Marine's gotta go through it. Everybody's gotta do it. And you know, I can tell you, you're gonna get kicked in the nuts. It's gonna be a gut check. It's gonna be um, extremely difficult, both physically and mentally, but it's not impossible, guys. All right, if you go in there with a level head, with the right mindset, and just be willing to put in the work that is required of you, you'll make it through with no problems. All right, it's 13 weeks, it's long, but at the end of the day, you gotta go through it. All right, and I can tell you from experience, you know, when you graduate boot camp and you walk across that parade deck and you see your families there in the audience cheering you on, crying, you know, super exciting, there's no better feeling, guys. Just go in there with the right mindset, get through it, and you're not gonna regret it. So after boot camp, what happens? You get 10 days of leave, all right? You get to go back home, see your family and friends, show everybody your cool new haircut and wicked tan lines because you know, Marine Corps covers are designed to sit up here on the top of your head and you get these wicked tan lines that just look retarded. But it is what it is. Um, you're gonna be cocky, you're probably gonna be wearing some Marine Corps swag because you're super proud to be a Marine now. That's cool, that's normal, do it. You know, embrace it. But once those 10 days are up, and they're gonna fly by guys, uh, once those are up, you're gonna be shipping out again. So after those 10 days of leave, where do you go next? Now you've all heard every Marine's a basically trained rifleman. So what this means is after 10 days of leave, all Marines are gonna be shipping out to the School of Infantry. All right, now the School of Infantry has two locations in the Marine Corps, SOI East and SOI West. SOI West is held at Camp Pendleton, California. SOI East is held at Camp Geiger, North Carolina. What's gonna happen is, it depends on if you're infantry or if you're all other MOSs. So if you have an 0311 MOS or anything with an 03, it could be 0311, 0331, 0341, 51, or 52, you're gonna be attending School of Infantry, but you're gonna be attending Infantry Training Battalion. All right, this is totally different from what all other Marines are gonna attend. All right, if you're not an 03 field and you chose an MOS like Supply or Motor T, you are going to be attending Marine Combat Training. All right, Marine Combat Training is still held on SOI East and SOI West. All right, you're gonna be there together, but separate. All right, infantry is gonna be a little longer, as I'll discuss, and Marine Combat Training is gonna be a little shorter. So as I've discussed, the locations, there's only two of them, SOI East and SOI West, all right? So let's start off with the infantry side. If you have an 03 MOS, 0311, 31, 41, 51, or 0352, you are gonna be attending Infantry Training Battalion. All right, now depending on where you went to boot camp, you're gonna be either going to SOI East or SOI West. So if you went to MCRD San Diego for boot camp, guess where you're going for School of Infantry? You're gonna be going to freaking Camp Pendleton, all right? If you graduated from Paris Island, you're gonna be going to SOI East. The School of Infantry for Infantry, when you go to Infantry Training Battalion, is nine weeks long, and you're gonna be spending a lot of time in the field, guys. That's what you signed up to do. You signed up to be infantry, and infantry goes to the field a lot. I mean, that's your whole MOS. You're just gonna be in the field training with your different weapon systems, doing whatever weapon system uh, training that you signed up for, and I mean, get ready for it, you know? I hear a lot of grunts complaining, but look, at the end of the day, you signed up for it. So you got nobody to blame but yourself. I got a lot of friends who are infantry, 
who are still in infantry and they love it, man. So as I said, infantry training battalion is nine weeks long. Seven of those weeks are gonna be spent in the field. The other two are gonna be spent in the classroom. And you're just gonna be learning basic Marine Corps infantry tactics, guys. You'll be spending a lot of time in the field, a lot of time with your weapon systems. And your first four weeks, you're gonna to be together. You know, all, all three occupations are gonna to be together, spending time in the field, training, blah, blah, blah. And then after those four weeks is when you split up. So all 0331s are gonna go somewhere, all 351s, etc. And you're gonna be learning your specific weapon systems. You're gonna be doing more training specifically for your specific MOS. Just know that you're gonna be in the field a lot and you're not gonna have your phone. You might be able to carry your phone with you. You might not. When I was in uh, MCT, our instructors thought they were drill instructors and they didn't let us have shit. No tobacco products, no phones, no nothing. It might have changed, but if you do have your phone, just know that you're probably not gonna have service. You're probably not gonna be able to communicate with your little girlfriend back home and whatnot for a little bit. So at the end of the day, those nine weeks will go by pretty quick. It's a little bit more fun than boot camp, a little more relaxed because now you're a Marine, but you're at the bottom of that totem pole, so you're still gonna get treated like dirt. All right, so let's go for all other MOSs. Where do you guys go? What is Marine combat training? Well, it's five weeks long. It's still held at either SOI East or SOI West, depending on where you went to boot camp. It's gonna be long weeks, you know, six plus days a week training. You're gonna be pretty much training from 05 in the morning to 21, 2200 at night. All right, not a lot of sleep in MCT from what I remember. MCT was fun when you're doing the actual training, but like I said, I had some shitty instructors who thought they were drill instructors and you know, two of them had just got back from Iraq. You know, they just weren't fun to be around, guys. They took away all our tobacco products. They pretty much stole them because they made us put them in their drawer and they were just using our dip and cigarettes. I mean, that's, they just got free freaking tobacco. So whatever, it is what it is. They didn't let us use phones and they just kind of treated us like shit. But hey, at the end of the day, you're a freaking private or a PFC. So, you're gonna be getting treated like shit no matter what. You're at the bottom of that totem pole and shit rolls downhill in the Marine Corps, guys. So get used to it, face those facts. You know, like I said, keep a level head, bust your ass, and you'll get promoted. MCT, you're gonna be doing a lot of time training with your different weapon systems. You're gonna be marching all over the place, cleaning weapons, going to the field, and uh, digging foxholes, things like that. And at the end of MCT, you're gonna be doing a 48 hour basic skills retention exercise, BSRE. And you're gonna be applying everything that you learned those previous four and a half weeks in MCT. MCT was a cool experience, guys. All right, like I said, I didn't have as much fun as I thought I was gonna be because my instructors, but hey, at the end of the day, that's how it is in the Marine Corps. You never know what you're gonna get. After all of this, after MCT, for Marines who aren't infantry, you are gonna be going to your MOS schools. So you just went through five weeks of Marine combat training. Now you're gonna go learn your job. So for me, I was Motor T. As Motor T, you're gonna to go to as Motor T, you're gonna to go to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for a month. You're gonna be learning how to drive the trucks, learning everything about the trucks. You know it's a good time, but um, depending on what MOS you chose, whether it was logistics, Seaburn, military police, logistics, all these different MOSs, you're gonna be going to your different occupational schools, and those can vary from two weeks to I think over a year. I don't really know. There's so many different MOSs, and I'm not gonna cover them all today. To sum it up, if you're infantry, once you get off your 10 days of leave after boot camp, you're gonna be going to SOI East or SOI West, infantry training battalion for nine weeks. Then after that, you get to go to your unit, and then you're an official Marine, guys. You're gonna be hitting the Fleet Marine Force, and from there, it's just having a good time, embracing the suck. But if you're not an infantry or an 03 field, you're gonna be going to Marine Combat Training, either SOI East or SOI West, and it's gonna be five weeks, and then after those five weeks, you go to your MOS school. Like I said, could be anywhere from two weeks to over a year long. Then once that's complete, then you get to go to your respective units and your official Marines in the Fleet Marine Force, guys. So I hope this kind of sheds some light on this topic. I get asked this question a lot. And if you found this video helpful, again, I ask that you like the video, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more content. I am going to be posting one video a week on Wednesdays. If you got questions you want answered, guys, drop them down below. I'd love to hear your stories. You know, tell me down below, what MOS are you going into? What did you choose? And when are you shipping out for boot camp? All right, so this is Tony from For the Core, Semper Fi.